Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is a new moon reading for the collective which takes place on the Lionsgate portal August 8th, 2021 in the sign of Leo. You do not have to have Leo anywhere in your chart to be able to watch this reading. It's not focused on any one particular zodiac sign at all. Anyone can watch this reading for general messages. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, I do new moon and full moon readings every month for the collective <clears throat> to take a look at the energies for the month. Full moon time is a time where we release, we let go, we purge, we get rid of what's not working in order to then make space for the new moon, such as now, to then receive set intentions and manifest and attract the things that we wish for our life. Now, this particular new moon happens to land on a very powerful energetic date so i am extra curious to see what this lionsgate portal new moon has to share with us and before i get started i might as well address the elephant in the room i have changed my setup here as you can see it is not the same angle at all your view has changed and so has mine and honestly i am i'm working a little blindly here because i can't see the way that i used to when my tripod was set up from the side. Before when it was set up from the side, I was able to kind of see the same thing you were seeing. I was able to make sure everything looked good for you watching, but I'm not able to do that in this case. So this is gonna be a learning curve for me. I hope it works out. I hope you like it. I mean, I hope I can manage to, to work with it. If it works out well, I will definitely keep it around. I'm gonna try my best to avoid glares because I do have a light above the table, uh, also one off to the side. I'm going to try my best to avoid glares. Uh, I'm going to also try my best to hold cards up to the camera the way I used to with the other setup from the side. Because sometimes cards do have really cool details that sometimes you can't see from far away. And I want to make sure that you can see what I'm seeing. So I'm going to try my best. I even have little parameters here set up to help me understand. I have a stick here um, to try to help me understand like the space that I have and the view that I have on the side as well down here. So again, I'm going to try my best to make sure everything looks good for you on camera. So let's go ahead and get started, everybody. We're going to start with a fortune reading card. We want to see what the main energy is for this Lionsgate portal. New Moon, August 8th, 2021. What is the main energy for this Lionsgate Portal New Moon, please? One card for the collective. Okay, let's see what we have. Wow, look at that. Wish, it says, your heart's desire is ready to come true. Now, considering that this is a new moon, I mean, don't we set our intentions to manifest and attract the wishes of our heart? So this to me makes perfect sense. This is about setting your intentions with all your heart's desire and with the knowing and trust that they will come true. So what is it this is telling me is that wishes are gonna come true for this Lionsgate portal. So. Um, when you set your intentions for this new moon, be very clear about what it is you wish to attract because you just might get it. Be careful what you wish for, right? Because you just might get it is what they say. So let's take a look at the Lightseer's Tarot to see what this Lionsgate portal energy for this new moon, August 8th, 2021 is all about. Just three cards here for this Lionsgate portal, new moon. Three cards for the collective, please. Okay, one, two, and three. What do we have? Nice, we have the page of pentacles. The full, okay. The start of something new, the initiation, wow, wow. 
holy cow, you like talk about progression. You go from the fool directly to the world. You literally skipped everything in between in the major arcana. That's freaking insane. Um, but I, I kind of like it. I love it. All right. What this is telling me, I mean, pages are students of life, right? They're all about getting their feet wet in new experiences. They're all about exploration, learning, growing, expanding. Page of Pentacles, especially Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, uh, in case, did I mention that already? Probably. Um, anyhow, it's all about potential with the Page of Pentacles. The initiation of major potential. The initial investment of something. You could be with this new moon setting your intention to invest in yourself or invest in something new maybe learn something new to me this initial investment with the page of pentacles is going to advance you with the world because the world is a graduation card it's a leveling up it's the completion of a major cycle it's having learned everything that you have needed to learn and and accumulated and yeah you basically accumulated a wealth of knowledge via the lessons learned on the journey that the fool has taken the fool is also about optimism taking leaps of faith on oneself so again i can't help but think of taking a leap of faith on yourself by investing in yourself in some way with this new moon or taking the first step towards something that you've maybe been wishing or wanting to do for some time. The Page of Pentacles would be the student. The Page of Pentacles would make that first step or take that first physical step. It's Earth energy. So would the Fool. The Fool is the initiation, the first step on a journey to accomplish something. It, it walks kind of uh by faith not by sight in a sense it doesn't necessarily know where it's going or where it's going to end up but oftentimes there is a step or a leap of faith in a new direction and this new moon is basically indicating that you are embarking upon a new journey you are taking a step in a new direction you are probably on the brink of taking leaps of faith on yourself to accomplish something Everything your candle just went out. I am prepared though. The fool is also an energy where it's like you travel lightly, you don't carry the baggage of the past with you, you're able to let that go. And not be weighed down by anything. So this to me, this reading is confirmation that a lot of you with that last full moon have done the work to let go because you don't have the baggage of the past with the full weighing you down anymore. You're on this journey with the full to awaken your potential with this new moon energy. And the world is telling us, yeah, you're, you're pretty much going to get what you wish for. And you're taking this new route, this new journey, this new leap of faith, this maybe even investing in yourself in some way to invest in your own potential and possibility and see where it can take you. So don't be afraid with this new moon to start something new, to invest in yourself, to take a leap of faith that maybe at one time you were afraid to take. Don't be afraid to do that. Because you're in doing so, in investing in yourself or taking that first step towards something tangible or physical that you wish for, you are going to initiate the journey to wake yourself up to all the possibilities that lie maybe even dormant inside you. The fool is here ready to jump and trust that the net will appear. Because if you look closely, that flower of life certainly does look like a net. You've heard me say that saying before. But this, this girl in the full card is definitely taking a leap, 
leaps of faith and trusting with every fiber of her being that great spirit will be there to catch her fall but there is no falling it's falling in surrender falling in trust maybe but that's about it because spirit's got her back and funny enough as a result of taking that leap in trust you access your best self your higher self maybe your best life with the world you access the greater version of yourself you access the graduated leveled up version of yourself in taking that leap of faith so make the initial investment in yourself today learn something new take an, a leap of faith in another direction perhaps take that journey stay optimistic like the fool what would right um and find out soon enough what you awaken in the process The world is indicating success as a result of taking that leap of faith, as a result of making that initial investment towards a wish. That's why the wish card is here. It's saying your heart's desire is about to come true. It's just waiting for you to, to take that leap. It's just waiting for you to make that initial investment. This new moon, this Lionsgate portal energy is opening you up to a world of possibilities, literally. Some of you with the Fool, because they both take journeys, um, sometimes the, the World card talks of world travel and then the Fool actually takes a physical journey. So I have to wonder if some of you are taking a leap of faith in traveling and going somewhere else entirely, maybe moving, relocating. Earth energy is, you know, this, the safety, security, the ground, right, that you're planted in. So I have to wonder if you're uprooting yourselves this new moon for some of you like geographically literally uprooting yourselves this is saying that if you are doing something like that you could be uprooting yourself from another job from one job to another from one home to another from a location to another um taking leaps of faith on yourself maybe investing in a new career maybe switching gears that way in your in your career or your field of work maybe making an initial investment in a business for some of you especially with the earth energy and it is a leap of faith because again like the fool you take the journey you have no idea where it's going to lead you but you know it's about conquering your fears it's a bravery test with the fool because again he doesn't know where he's going to end up when all is said and done but he he goes anyway and he releases the fear of the past or the baggage of the past so that there's nothing holding him back from taking that journey and I think a lot of you with this new moon energy are basically going to cast your arms out wide and like those uh, exercises in theater right if any of you were theater nerds um, or geeks uh, I was in theater for a little bit in junior high um, when you do those exercises and you have your classmate catch you right you literally fall back and catch you that's the same feeling like you're doing this in trust that you will be caught that there is support there so this is also spirit's way of saying you will be supported on this journey in this initiation that you're making for yourself you're taking the initiative you will be supported Spirit will catch your fall. There is no fall, really. It's just falling in grace, falling in surrender, falling in trust, and knowing you will be supported. The world is, is your success. It's your achievement. It's your leveling up. It's your lessons learned, right? Because we have to sometimes conquer the fear, and sometimes conquering the fear is the lesson in itself. But then when we conquer that fear, we realize on the other side of it, oh, it wasn't that scary as I thought it would be. I just had to get out of my own limitation mindset or I just had to break my own barriers and do the thing that scared me to realize that I could. This is your potential soon to be awoken in a very successful way. So allow yourself to graduate and level up 
with this new moon because that's what it's bringing you. It's the completion of a cycle. The initiation of a new one and the success that follows. But in that success that you're walking into is also the lessons being learned. And that is where the completion, the successful completion is because spirit's just waiting for you to take that leap or take that step or initiate this new thing that maybe has been on your heart in order for you to complete this lesson successfully. Um, for whatever reason, it's reminding me of Okay, for whatever reason, this is reminding me of Mario Brothers, okay? 80s kids playing Nintendo and Atari, ColecoVision, okay? I'm sure you understand where I'm coming from. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, oh man, the Nintendo, the first Nintendo I ever got, man, it was awesome. I actually, I think I, no, I have the second one. I still have the second one, matter of fact. And I still play it every once in a while. Um, anyhow... Mario Brothers, Mario takes a journey. Every, every level of his journey, he's trying to reach a goal, right? And at the very, very end of the level, after he's collected all his coins, he's gained a couple man ups, right? A little a couple mushrooms. When he reaches the end of that level, he takes a leap, doesn't he? He, he jumps for the flag and that flag, if he lands it, ends up giving him an extra man. These two cards remind me of Mario brother taking or starting the level, starting a level and then over here leaping right to catch the flag and then having accomplished it. So when you take the journey with the fool it initiates the next level. Like when you start, you play, you start the game, you play the game, you initiate the first level or whatever level you're on. Um, and then when you reach the end of that level, you grab your flag and you win. So you conquering the fear will help you put you on the journey to win is what this is telling me. I hope that makes sense because that's how I'm kind of seeing it here. And you know, we're all here on this you know, in this earthly realm, this 3D realm to learn to be students of life. And sometimes conquering that fear is the level. It's a level in itself. Once you take the leap, you conquer the level though. Once you take the leap to conquer your fear, you conquer the level. You not only conquer the fear, but you conquer, conquer that lesson. And then you complete that. That is a lesson you with the world it kind of feels like you won't need to repeat again because you you got it you understood it you understood what it took and then now that you've done it you're not as scared maybe as you were before of it oh man i could go a whole lot deeper um with this full energy in the world together as a combo Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go a little, <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, how about, how about we touch on this just a little bit, okay? Video games are a perfect analogy. An example, okay? Sometimes things are put in front of your face in plain sight. Some of us will get it, some of us won't. If you believe in reincarnation, Mario Brothers is a perfect example of you die and you get to come back. Think of the game Jumanji, right? Or the, the movie Jumanji. But video games are a perfect example of this. There are many different levels with the, you know, and portals um, that we experience, different lessons and levels that we experience in this game called life, in this matrix, in this game called life. We're like Mario going through all the different levels of our own experience. Going through the motions, collecting our coins, <laughs> you know, 
collecting experiences along the way. And it kind of feels like, you know, yeah, at the end, we do graduate from the level, uh, the level in the game. Um, and in the experience of the game, playing the game, let's say the actual physical Mario Brothers game, you get to come back, right? But isn't the goal eventually to stop freaking playing this game and then not come back? Like, I don't want to keep coming back. I want to be able to level up in this game to the point where I don't have to see... I don't have to come back here ever again. Maybe I could do something else from a different, uh, a different level of energy. You know, the video games as well are an indication that we are eternal as well. Because if we keep coming back, our energy just changes and transforms into something else. Do we ever truly die, right? So every time Mario loses his life, he comes back. That's a perfect example of reincarnation. That's a perfect example of having to get through the game several times. But then also it's a perfect example of being infinite that way. I think eventually we all get to a point um, in our overall ancient existence where we can complete the game in its totality isn't that the goal of every like video game to complete every single level and conquer it right well this new moon all right this new moon is gonna help a lot of us a lot of us conquer one more level of this experience in this game that we are living and or quote unquote playing right now. So Lionsgate Portal is leveling a lot of us up. Okay, we're, we're graduating to the next stage of the game. And here is you taking that leap, taking that journey and then conquering your flag at the end of your video game. You're achieving something here. We see that with the world. And it could be the very wish you have on your heart. So again, with this new moon, get in touch with that. Again, but also be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. <laughs> you just might get it. But the wish that you have on your heart, it feels like the minute you take the leap toward it, it becomes yours with the world. You, you achieve it with the world so don't be afraid to start something new to take uh, and or to invest in yourself this new moon aim high because it's gonna open up a whole world of possibilities as far as what you can achieve don't be surprised when you achieve it either with the world don't be surprised because all it took really was your act of faith, your leap of faith, your trust, your surrender, and your conquering of fear to do it. That's all it was the whole time. And no, it's not easier said than done. It's not. This new moon is giving you the open door. Okay? It's giving you the open door. All you have to do is walk right through it. So let's grab a few of these. Not taking it on any particular card. Um, ah, look at that message, vision. Ah, look at that, yes. What have you been contemplating? What have you hold held in your mind's eye what are you envisioning here what seeds have you planted right what have you been meditating on 
What have you been holding deep within your, your being? That seed is taking root and about to plant now. You've been meditating on this, maybe uh, holding it within yourself in a kind of like a hibernation mode, right? To me, this is about waking the sleeping giant is also what this is telling me. I've never gotten that message with this card before, but there's a sleeping giant about to be aw you know, woken up here. Like I said, I was getting the vibe over here with the fool that you would be waking yourself up to your fullest potential. With this new moon, all you have to do is take that active or leap of faith. There are synchronicities, maybe messages coming through, some form of communication arriving here in regards to a vision that you have for yourself and maybe a seed that have has been planted. But it's taking root and the giant is soon to be woken up. It's been dormant for some time, it feels like, but this seed is about to take root and it's starting to sprout, it's starting to grow, is what this is seeing. Because you can see all the little roots coming from it. The owl is a symbol of knowledge. So again, knowledge gained on the journey, yes. Wisdom gained from experience, yes. But this is also about trusting your vision. Trusting your intuition, trusting your inner guidance. Again, owls navigate at night. They don't have a clear sight, but they sense. So this is telling you to trust your inner voice, your inner vision, your inner insight, your inner knowing. Let that be what speaks to you and delivers the messages that you need. Allow that to help you navigate. And allow this seed to be planted and or take root allow that to wake the sleeping giant is what this is saying because again you're waking yourself up to your fullest potential your greatest potential maybe even your greatest purpose maybe your greatest wish manifested and realized and we see the achievement of it here with the world card so this is what you're waking up So let's grab, um, hold on here, I have a few upside down. I don't want that. There we go. All right, Making Magic Oracles. this so it says hold on here can I I don't know if you can see that it says spirit heavenly assistance from your angels and guides again the feeling that spirit has your back right spirit will be assisting you spirit will catch you all you got to do is take the leap of faith they are guiding and assisting it says tree of life, true wisdom, and making good choices in life. So again, that's your owl energy with the wisdom. Don't be afraid to make a choice. Trust yourself in making the right choice during this new moon time toward a goal, a vision, a wish, a dream, an investment, a leap of faith, okay? Your wish, your heart's desire is soon to come true. You've planted seeds, you've, you know, you're setting your intention, you're about to invest in yourself in some magical way. Trust that you are making the right choice, doing the right thing. Again, all you have to do is conquer your fear and the rest is history, right? And like, like I said, when you do, it's not going to be as hard as you thought it would be. Let's grab a final oracle, okay, with the Priestess of Light oracle. Let's see, final oracle card for this Lionsgate Portal New Moon. Okay, I just need one, just one, because I'm going to read directly from the book, and it's going to take a little bit, so one card for this Lionsgate Portal. 
New Moon, August 8th, 2021. Okay. Oh, so I had the whole deck upside down. All right, so it says Earth Magic, Fearlessness, Removing Obstacles. Okay, could that get any better? Right, this is about you conquering your fear for this new moon. Getting that out the way so you can take the steps that you need to take towards the things that you wish to attract, manifest, the wishes that you have on your heart. Again, those investments you've been maybe putting off. All right, so I don't know if you can see this from this angle but um i hope all right like i said it's not the same as i had it before but it says fearlessness removing obstacles the energy of this priestess of the horse brings movement and magic into your life the horse a creature of power has long represented freedom this card signals that the time is right for you to free yourself of the obstacles blocking your movement forward absolutely yeah, it says, you may have been hesitant or even afraid, look at that, to face these obstacles. Man, I wish I can get in closer. Oh, well, maybe I can. Look at that. Okay, perfect. You, have may, you may have been hesitant or even afraid to face these obstacles before, but there is a greater courage growing within you now. And I think this Lion's Gate portal, like the lion, right, who is courageous, is helping us do that. Take a look at your life to determine what needs to be done. The obstacles may be external to you, perhaps a friendship, a place, or even a job, or a task that brings negative energy to your life. Or the blocks may be more personal, taking the form of worry, self-criticism, or other negative thought patterns. Unhealthy or self-sabotaging behaviors and habits could be blocking you as well. All these obstacles, whether inner or outer, may be a part of your daily life and as such may seem insurmountable, but it's time to fearlessly choose to prioritize and honor yourself. This beautiful galloping steed represents your true power to break through, to remove old obstacles, and to move forward on your soul's path. The grounding energy of the earth will always support you. Oh my gosh, didn't I say that? I said that because I said the, the net will be there to support you. Spirit will be there to support you and catch you. You might fall, but you're being caught. You're being supported. The only falling is in the surrender, right? And taking that leap to trust that you will be supported. And I, I said that. It's crazy how this works. So the, the grounding energy of the earth will always support you and bring real magic when you make the honoring choice. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. Hold on. What does that say? True wisdom and making good choices in life. Mm -hmm. When you make the honoring choice to honor yourself, to honor what it is that you want to do, what direction you want to go, how you want to take that step, affirmation, I have the power to remove any inner or outer blocks. I am fearless in my choice to honor myself and my life. Absolutely. Again, what does this say? Spirit. Heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. And it says... The grounding energy of the earth will always support you. Yep. They are supporting you. And you do have the earth energy here of the Page of Pentacles. Your number is 26. Which is an 8. Oddly enough, 8, right? 8, 8, 21. So to me, that's even more confirmation. Let's see what angel numbers you get for this beautiful reading here. Um, if you're not familiar with my channel uh, in regards to the numbers, what I do is I roll for angel numbers every once in a while by using the dice. So whatever numbers we get, I recommend that you look this up. You research via a source that you trust. I don't want to recommend a source because it could be one that you don't resonate with. At that point, it could lose some of the magic. So find a source that you trust to interpret these numbers for you because these numbers uh, will most times, like nine times out of 10, confirm some things I've already said in this reading and or provide you with a message that you needed personally. I don't like to provide a source, again, for the reason I just mentioned but also because I want you to find your own magic. I know that taking the journey to doing the research to the numbers may also lead you to other synchronicity and serendipity that you need for your journey. If I gave you a shortcut, 
I might rob you of that experience. I would not want to have that to happen. So I also ask that everybody refrain from putting the number interpretation in the comment section for this exact reason. We don't want to rob anybody of finding their own magic synchronicity and serendipity on the way to doing the research to the numbers for themselves. Okay. So let's see what numbers we get for your new moon reading, your Lionsgate portal new moon reading. So that is a nine, five, nine fifty five is your angel number. Go ahead and look that up and see what it brings to you. Happy new moon, everyone. Again, we have the wish card here, wish fulfillment. I hope you get everything that you wish for, everything that you're setting your heart to manifest and attract into your life with this new moon. It's very powerful energy. So make those wishes and set them right. Okay. So I'll leave you here. If you feel that this has helped and connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. Maybe click the bell for notification as well so you don't miss out on future content. And if you ever want to take it a step further to support what I do, check me out on Etsy. The link to my Etsy shop is down below in the description box. All you have to do is pay me a visit. I do have handmade crystal jewelry that I make with my two hands on my free time. I also have powerful crystals like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass there as well. And I have personal readings when available. Okay, so much love to you wherever you are. Again, happy new moon. Take care and always keep shining.